Welcome to yet another amazing automation training brought to you by the NFT champion. In this video, we are going to learn how to save 12, 36 or 69 dollars from a web page by using automation. Well, that is going to be the consequence, but what we're going to learn is we're going to learn how to scrape information from a web page. What we're also going to learn is about how to think about structuring our robot and the logic that goes inside building a robot. We are going to build a robot that is going to download all of these accelerators and then click into each one of them and collect all of the information from this page. Now, this website is providing this for a fee. We are going to use automation and create our own Excel sheet from all of this information. Now, that is pretty amazing. In this video, not only you're going to learn all of what I've just said, but also you are going to save up to $69. So what are you waiting for? There's $69 in it for you. Let's get started right away. The first thing that we are going to do is create a new flow and we're going to name this download. Download or scrape, that is the same term for meaning to download or scrape some information from a web page. Now, the first thing that we need is that we need to do is we need to think about how we are going to structure our robot. So what we want to do is we want to collect the link to each one of these accelerators or each one of these. Once we have the link, we are going to launch another program or another robot that is going to visit each one of these links and then extract the information that we require. So then we start from this link and we go back to Microsoft Power Automate and we launch the flow. We need to use Google Chrome for this. So let's launch Google Chrome and always uh, maximize this while you are developing. It's going to be easier for you. Let's save this and we can run this process or we can just click on the record button and re extract the different information that we need. All right, the first thing that we have to do is we have to extract the anchor or the link from each one of these uh, this cards that we have on the web page. Now, as you can see, if I hover over each one of these, there is a div and there's different elements. Now, since we are extracting the link, we have we should select on the link, right click on this, extract value and get the H reference or the link. The next thing to do is select the next card, extract value and select the link again. Now, this should have selected all of the value inside of this page. Let's click on finish and let's test our process and see what we have so far. We are going to remove the extra actions that we don't need and we are going to launch this process. So the first page has opened and let's go back to our automation and we can see that we have managed to extract 534 rows. If we go to the data table that we have created, we can see that inside we have the links to each one of those accelerators. Well, wasn't that easy. In just two steps, we managed to complete the first part of the process. So what is the second part of this process? Is to go inside of each one of these and extract whatever information that we want from each one of these accelerators. All right, so how are we going to do that? Well, it is going to be super simple. Obviously, we are going to use a loop for this. A loop is going to allow us to go through our list that we have just created. So we are going to drag and drop the for each loop and select the variable that we have just created with extracting the data, the output data table. Let's save this. And now we have to add some actions inside of here. All of the actions that are going to be in here are going to be actions that are going to extract data from the web page. So let's go back to the record. Let's click on one random one of these. So what we have to do right now is extract everything and all of the information that we want from this page. So let's start by extracting the title of this page. Let's extract the link to the website and let's extract one more thing. So let's extract. Let's take a look at this. Let's extract this description right here. So we are going to extract these three things from all of the links that we have downloaded so far. All right. Once that is done, let's finish our recording and remove all of the steps that we don't need. 
and let's test out our process. So one thing that we need to do is we need to navigate to each one of these pages that we have extracted in here. So that is really easy to do. So we are going to go to navigate or go to web page. And right before we extract all of the information, we are going to add the link, which is the current item. The current item is generated once we add for each loop. It generates a current item that goes inside of the navigation so the current item is going to be this current item so it's going to be for zero and then this one this one this one this one and so on all right so i've put a breakpoint this means that the process is going to stop right here so that we can test this and see if we made something that works or just a bunch of nonsense let's play this so it is starting it's opening incubator list thank you so much for saving 69 dollars you welcome uh it went to the first link tech stars so far so good and let's take a peek inside of our accelerator we can see that it has finished it has finished it has collected three information stockholm the tech star accelerator the link and a description that is amazing ladies and gentlemen now what we should do is we should add this information into an excel sheet well so far so good and this is going to be as easy as everything that we have done so far so we're going to launch an excel sheet in the beginning of our document we are going to make a new excel sheet let's make a new excel sheet so we're going to open a new excel sheet and then inside of this excel sheet we are going to write all of the information that we need so let's go to the write to excel sheet and right here the values to write is going to be the output data tree or that is the output of the recording that we did previously on a specific cell exactly and then we're going to leave this for right now blank and we're going to get this in a second so column a should be and let's add row one for right now but we're going to change this in a second now if we leave it like this it is always going to put it inside of the same row and it's not going to put it one underneath the other why because excel is going to put always data in row in column a and in row one so to do that in a dynamic way it is very easy we need to add the fir get free first free column from our excel workbook so that's it once we add this we can come back here we can go to the row and we can select the first free row right here like this it is going to add one piece of information after the other now i didn't put any weights or any uh, any intervals we're going to try our automation like this and see if it works obviously we should also add a save excel a close web browser in the end but for right now let's just see if what we have created right here in this nine steps is going to allow us to save 69 dollars from that web page and also has given us a pretty good idea on how to scrape different information from a web page and also how to structure different processes all right so we see that there is a new excel sheet that has been open and what i'm expecting right now that there should be two rows inside of this excel sheet and just as i was expecting there are two rows inside of this excel sheet now there is a third row which hasn't been formatted properly but that's okay because we can do that in the end so let's scroll a little bit down and we can see that we have already seven we have collected already seven accelerators so eight right now and so forth so this is going to continue and it's going to get all of the different links from all of the different accelerators that we have on this web page now isn't this amazing ladies and gentlemen if you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have enjoyed the time watching me and this don't forget to subscribe because like that you will see more great content just like this and also like this video and leave me a comment down below that tells me what kind of automation you would like to see next it's been a true pleasure being with you in this amazing video and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and have a great day